Lesson two, similar triangles. We're going to prove triangles are similar with postulates and, and theorems. If two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of another triangle, the triangles are similar. This postulate says if we have two pairs of angles that are congruent in the two triangles, then we have similar triangles. I think you can see right away that we have one pair of congruent angles and I'm going to arc mark them there, and I'm going to write them down. I have angle SDE is congruent to angle S, I think it was UT, but I will look at that in a minute here. I'm going to exit out of this. SUT, yes. Why are they congruent to each other? And it's important to write the reason, and this is because it's given. So in parentheses, I'm just going to put down the reason. This was a given. So that's one pair. The other pair, do you see that the two triangles are overlapping? and they share this angle S. So here's the smaller triangle, and I'm going to highlight it in, in a different color, bigger one, and they share this angle S. Put the two arc marks. So angle S is congruent to angle S, and that's called the reflexive property. So we're going to put that in parentheses. The reason why I said that, geometry says, that an angle is equal to itself, a side is equal to itself. It seems pretty self-explanatory, but we are going to write that down. That is the property that says an angle is equal to itself. So that is our two sets of angles, and since we have them congruent, now we can prove the triangles are similar. So I'm going to write down here Triangle STU, and I have to make sure it's in the right order. I'm going to say STU is similar to SED. So make sure that you have the right part for part, angle for angle. And so this is, since I started at S and I went down to the TU, I'm going to have the same pattern for the E and then the D. So part for part. This is true by angle angle for similar triangles. So I've got the two sets of angles. Now I can prove that the two triangles are similar, so therefore sides are proportional and all corresponding angles are congruent. All right, so let's move on to side, side, side. If three sides of one triangle are proportional to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So for this one, we are going to want to have the three triangles or the three sides to be corresponding or proportional. So I'm going to highlight the colors here. I'm going to choose the smallest sides and compare them. So I'm going to write them. If I want to see that they're proportional, I'm going to have to see if they reduce to the same scale factor all three sides. So I'm going to highlight that was the smallest side. I'm going to go with the larger side now. So 15 and 5. Let's compare 15 to 5. And then my last pair would be the middle size. I'm going to go to the 12 and compare that to the 4. So does the 12 divided by 4 reduce to the same scale factor? And yes, they all reduce to 3 over 1. So the scale factor is 3 over 1. That means the sides are proportional. And I have similar triangles. So the sides are proportional. And now let's write down, since we have all three sides, are proportional, then by side, 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 triangle ACT. So I'm going to make sure I have ACT. Where do I need to start? 
You need to start at the L, go up to the K, and over the L. So make sure that you have the order. Triangle L, K, J. Why are they similar? By side, side, side for similar triangles. So I'm going to put that here at side, side, side for similar triangles. All right, so let's keep moving on. Side angle side. If an angle of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding angle of another triangle and the lengths of the sides, including these angles, are in proportion, the triangles are similar. So this is the side angle side theorem. To prove triangles are similar, we can prove um, or show that two corresponding sides, pairs of sides are proportional and the included angle is congruent. So I'm going to look at um, this included angle. What I mean is that this side, and I think it's going to get bigger here, um, this is the angle pair that is included in between the two sides that we're going to prove that they are proportional. So this is called the included angle. In other words, the sides make the angle. So these angles, I'm going to put this here, angle BEC Uh, my, there we go. BEC, this should be BEC. I'm going to erase that because it is sloppy. There we go. Angle BEC is congruent to my pen is a little glitchy here. Um, BEC congruent to GEF, angle GEF. Why? Do you remember what those are called? Those are, hmm, there we go, GEF. What are those called? Those are vertical angles. So we know vertical angles are congruent. Wow, this pen is really glitchy here, so bear with me here. Vertical angles are congruent, so I know that those that I have arc marked are called vertical angles. Um, so let's, next thing we want to do is make sure that the sides are proportional. So I've got 13. I'm going to check that with the other side. Now 13 is my larger side of my triangle on the left, so I'm going to go with the larger side on the triangle on the right. Um, I'm going to say 13, and here it goes bigger again. I don't know why it does this. It makes me want to not use this program. Um, okay, so 13. I'm going to compare that to the 52. Is that proportional to the other two sides? So let's compare the 9 and the 36 and see if that is proportional. I'm going to take the cross products. When I multiply the, the cross products here, we got 13 times 36. That is 468. So I'm just going to show that here, 468. And when I multiply 52 times 9, I also get 468. So yay, these are proportional. So I've got uh, proportional sides, and I've got the included angles are congruent. In this case, it was the, the vertical angles. And so my triangles are similar by side angle side for similarity. So I'm going to put it here, side angle side for similarity. All right. So the last thing I need is the triangle statement. So I'm going to grab a different color here. If 
I've already started with EFG. So let me put here um, EFG is starting at E, going towards the F, which is the larger side, and down to the G. So what would the other triangle have to be? If you said E, starting at the E, but I want the larger side, I want to go to the C and up to the B. So E, C, B would be the correct triangle statement. Look down below here. This is a non-example. Um, I wanted to show you this because the 45 degrees, yeah, they're both um, congruent angles, but they're not included angles. The one on the right, the 20 and the 15 make the 45, but not the angle E does not created by the 9 and the 12. So this is not an included angle. So that's why we said it's not non-example. All right, let's move on to our last statement here. We've got uh, proof. A logical statement that shows a statement is true. And a two-column proof has listed statements and corresponding reasons that prove an argument prove an argument in a logical manner. And I just want you to take a look at the two column proof that I had shown. That is how you can write uh, the statements on the left, reasons on the right. And notice I have the pair of angles in the, um, that are congruent and I say why they're congruent. And we said it was given. Angle S is congruent to S, a reflexive property. And then we finally said, therefore, the triangles are similar by angle angle similarity. So that is a style that we can prove. And thanks so much and we will see you soon.